Honest, J. Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last. And welcome back to Honest J. Nowak. So what I've got today is that I'm simply just gonna describe how I feel about historical fiction. Now I'm talking about historical fiction because there's just been so many books and film adaptations that have taken hold onto this type of trend. Historical fiction, it really does in fact relate to how history could actually end up working within the next 1,000 years or so, but the way I feel about historical fiction, it just might seem inaccurate at the moment. There's no real way of trying to predict the future, how it will look like, the way we keep having ourselves a good time. And the way we keep progressing through life itself as the years fly by, we're really not sure about how the future itself will work, and maybe we never will. 1,000 years would end up passing in 3019. Who even knows what will happen then? 3019 does end up having things out there like flying cars, teleportation, or otherwise. Although teleportation might actually appear during the 2050s, humanity might end up creating teleporters based off of our quantum pinpoint particles which are inside of our own atoms. Now, trillions, trillions, and trillions of cells which each contain so many atoms in them. And every atom, of course, does end up containing quantum particles, which can actually help us progress through enormous lengths based in time and based in certain distances. Whenever we travel across certain things like wormholes, of course, this is where it really explains to us how quantum it would actually work in our body. It would allow us to progress through enormous lengths through time and space, simply because of how, well, Quantum itself would actually allow us to travel through those types of distances within just a short period of time. Even black holes, of course, the way we see it from our perspective, it would just simply seem like we're getting sucked inside and that we're simply dead. But the fact is, is that quantum itself would actually allow us to travel through a black hole seamlessly, probably without even getting ourselves killed. Although the most likelihood that by the time we're past the event horizon, as it's known as, on the outside of the black hole, Within the inside of the black hole, of course, it would actually seem that time and space itself would actually change different, but that's only because our quantum is practically playing tricks on us. Almost like an auditory or visual hallucination that is being played back on us until we actually end up dying within the black hole's interior. Now, of course, heading back to quantum teleportation. A quantum teleporter, of course, would actually allow our quantum pinpoint particles within our own bodies to allow us to travel great distances in time itself and in space. Of course, it's very relatable to how wormholes and black holes itself would allow our quantum pinpoint particles to allow our bodies to make it through practically in one piece. So, of course, the advent of quantum teleportation is something different, but historical fiction itself really can relate to more than just what we should expect within the next 100 years. Now, going even further than that, the year 4000, 5000, 6000, any years after that that really take place, there's just really no telling what humanity would end up doing. Of course, we all fear about one day the apes would end up taking over planet Earth, but there's just no telling when that will truly happen. It could be some time from now. It could be even further than from today, within just a few years. It could be centuries. It could be a few thousand years. Or it could be a whole eon. There's really no telling about how the future itself would work. We always try to keep ourselves pipped up on the situation that one day, Apocalypse will take all of humanity with us. And that... At one point, extinction is bound to happen. Humanity itself would be no more. Not even I would be standing any longer. So, there's really just no telling when Apocalypse itself would happen. Although we do have ourselves our speculations on possible times within the next couple of decades that Apocalypse itself would actually strike. If you don't remember from December 21st of 2012, of course that was a really big doomsday date that we were supposed to have. 
but it never ended up happening. Mainly because the Mayan calendar was somehow found to be a fraud in this situation. I was really preparing myself for that kind of doomsday to come around and only to realize that it was all just some kind of cruel prank of some sorts just to trick others into thinking that doomsday is bound to come at some point. It really tore me apart. And so of course it's just best to leave the future alone. The future is what you make it. That's our lesson here. And that was actually a quote from Back to the Future Part 3, so don't rub it in for me. So, at this point, we can all just consider historical fiction something that we shouldn't look up to as a way to find out what the future itself would truly look like. Because there's just no telling. Of course, we all remember that there are plenty of video games and movies out there that mainly center on the 2020s. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was released in 2012, and it's mainly set in the year 2025. Avengers Endgame, of course, was released back this past April, and that was mainly set in June of 2023. So, of course, some films, adaptations of all sorts, they mainly do set themselves in the future within just some years from now, up to about a decade and a half from now, not to try to over-exaggerate what the future itself would end up becoming, but, of course, those are probably some sources that we could end up looking forward to having at some point. Because by the time we're actually in those times that the settings are described within those films, video games, and otherwise, we just might have what we would expect to get. And so, the fact that June 2023 might be a date that, well, of course we would end up seeing the original Iron Man character die, but we ended up seeing the original Iron Man character die this past April. So, there's really not much else I'm going to have to point out to that part, so... I've got nothing else, really, to just say, because the fact that so many historical fiction adaptations do exist, it's a pretty big mind blow. And it's mainly just something out there that we shouldn't try to turn a blind eye to, simply because of how it continues to exist. They try to predict the future, they try to tell us about the past, even, even though there's so many things about the past that have been considered true, and have been found to be true, there's still so many things out there that do relate to what the past ended up showing us back then. So, that's just something else I probably would not want to look up to as well. I mainly just want to use the professional's ideas and just simply do the research properly. By simply looking it up and having it done properly. Mainly that is what I've done to get by just to progress through my school years and do really good on my history based projects. I mainly just use actual sources and the like that actually tell us about how history itself worked back then and how it'll continue to work today. And that is, of course, how I managed to do so well during history classes and the like. So I really would not consider looking up to certain things like video games and movies out there. They really wouldn't show us anything that we can learn about the future itself. Just let the future be. Let time itself progress. That's the only way we're ever going to find out how the future itself will work. By the time 2050 actually rolls around, we might just have what we had looked up to. We might just have quantum teleportation. We might just have flying cars. We might just have cyborgs roaming around the area. We might even have aliens come down on our planet to coexist with our species. It's really no fairy tale or something like that, it's just something that we can really try to find out for ourselves. If we can get any of those things to come around during the 2050s, then let's have that happen. It only takes time just to take place, really. It takes lots of time to develop some sort of complex structure or something like that that can really help improve our lives for the better. So, I guess let's just leave time be. It only progresses if we keep living. So, right now, I feel like that's all i got to talk about at this moment. So, if you want to see more go down on my channel, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.